Bangalore is in the middle of a hot, dry summer and in the second consecutive year of drought. There are now concerns about drinking water in the months ahead. But if people could follow the example of A.R. Shiva Kumar, they would find that the city's annual rainfall, even in a drought year, is enough to meet all their needs. A.R. Shiva Kumar believes in taking his work home. He works in the field of renewable energy and rainwater harvesting. And his 22-year-old home is proof of his passion. The family only uses stored rainwater for its needs. This is our rainwater. It's a blazing hot day in summer. The monsoon seems very far away when you look at the bright blue sky. But we're standing in a house that does not have a water connection, a Kaveri water connection, but there's no shortage of water here. Now, Mr. A. R. Shivkumar, you built your house in a very special fashion. You don't have an outside water connection? No, I don't have an water connection from the city supply. Bangalore receives around uh, 900 to 1000 millimeters of uh, rainfall, okay. uh, except for uh, these uh, very drought years. Yeah. And uh, that get translated into a plot uh, where we live, okay. 40 feet by 60 feet, like any other usual house in Bangalore, into 2,30,000 liters of water uh, in a year. From rainfall alone, rainfall a alone. site that big will get that much. Yes, water. yes. So that 2,30,000 liters is far greater than what we use. We have two kinds of system. One is the roof water harvesting, other yes. one is the open space. Okay. Whatever we harvest from the roof gets stored at various level after yes. filtration. In the open space, whatever we harvest, yes. it percolates into the ground for groundwater recharge. I studied the rainfall uh, yeah. pattern of Bangalore. Uh, hardly we have around 90 to 100 uh, dry days between two good successive rains in Bangalore. Right. So based on that calculation, I worked out, we have around 45,000 liters storage. Yes. Effectively, we need only around 40 liters, 400 into 100 days. Recycling of water also plays a big part. Uh, this is our kitchen water, yes. uh, kitchen sink, and whatever the uh, wash of the vegetables, fruits, and uh, dishwashing comes through this. Yes. And there's a water trap here for the insects and other things okay. to go inside. Yes. After that, it gets stored in this uh, can. Okay. This can we lift it and you then can just, water. You can just water from this can yeah. itself. Yes. Yeah, we water the plants from this. Uh, Simple as that. Right. <laughs> this is our washing machine, yes. and uh, all our clothes get washed here. The washing machine used water comes out through this uh, oh. uh, drain pipe. Yeah, every, Normally, every, everyone has this everyone pipe. Everyone yes, has yes. this pipe. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting this into the drain, put it into three or four buckets. Okay. So the discharge gets collected here. Yes. Basically, this is soap water. There's yes. not much dirt in that. Yes. Same uh, water, which is in this bucket, carry that into your uh, bathrooms or the toilets oh. and use it for toilet flushing. Even the drinking water is treated rainwater. It is a family effort. Rainwater harvesting is not a new concept, but very few people do it with the dedication shown by A.R. Shivkumar. This very greenhouse has no outside water connection. It is run purely on rainwater and with a clever recycling of water to make sure that rainwater is enough for all of its water needs. With Alphonse Raj, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.